she wants to question you about the new will. But how does she even know it exists? Well, she claims that Lev Nikolaevich said she could look at the draft. Well, uh, he is obviously not thinking clearly. And now we have to contend with her petty grasping. It doesn't seem that petty to me. I beg your pardon? Uh, he's her entire life. The work in her mind is theirs together. And you're her advocate. You have been taken in by her celebrity. I was worried about this. I was, I was simply talking about their history. I, nothing nothing yeah, more. We have to see her. Mm -hmm. Act as if nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Sophia Andreevna, at last you honor us with a visit. Well, I'm curious to see how things are progressing here at Telia Tinky. Oh. What is it? Oh, uh, your moustaches. Ah, oh. <laughs> no, no, just, just a problem with the wax. Vladimir Grigorovich, let me come straight to the point. I don't wish to be your enemy. On the contrary, I am delighted that my husband has found a friend who understands and shares his ideals. I, I just want what's, what's reasonable. I want an opportunity to evaluate the new will. If you agree, then I'm sure we can be friends. You are very kind, Sophia Andreevna. But I can't help you. Not without specific instructions from your husband. Oh, he has agreed, hasn't he, uh, Valentin? He... No witness you produce can change my position, I'm afraid. But I will, of course, speak to Lev Nikolaevich at the first opportunity. Very well. I want us to be friends too, Sofia. Lev Nikolaevich is the most valuable thing in the world to both of us. We should endeavor to set things right between us. Give him peace. Let him work. Yes. Mm. Valentin Fedorovich, would you accompany me to the house, please? I... Uh, I'll accompany the <clears throat> Countess back to the house and be back in time for supper. Masha will be overjoyed. <laughs> 